In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up conditional orders on the Bybit Exchange. I'll show you how to set up a conditional limit order as well as how to set up a conditional market order, whether you're going long or going short. If you appreciate this content, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe and let's get into the video. To place a conditional order, come over here to your order panel and select conditional. From here, you have two options. You can do conditional limit order or a conditional market order. So I'll start with the limit order first. Now let's head over here to the chart. Here we can see Bitcoin playing out a range on the daily chart for several weeks now. And maybe you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself that you'd like to catch the breakout of this range. You don't really care if it breaks to the upside or if it breaks to the downside. You just want to be in position. But what you don't want to do is long into resistance and you don't want to short into support. So perhaps you want to use a conditional limit order in an attempt to catch the breakout of this range. The first thing we need to do is set a condition for Bybit to place a limit order onto the order book for us. Let's just imagine that we want to use the top of this wick as our condition. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to the drawing tools. I'm just going to grab a horizontal and I'll stick it on right at the top of the wick like so. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point that correlates to that level coming in at 24,303. So let's come over here to the order panel and we'll type that into trigger price 24,303. This is going to be our condition to tell Bybit to put an order onto the order book for us. Next, we need to select an order price that we want Bybit to place on the order book for us. So let's head back over here to the chart and let's just imagine that we want Bybit to place a long order on this horizontal here. So in other words, we're looking for the SR flip, former resistance in this area here, tested as future support, confirming this as a legitimate breakout, and then of course we're looking for an upside move from there. If we look at the Y axis of the chart, we can see that horizontal has a price point at 23,429. So we'll type that into order price. 23,429. This is going to be the order price that Bybit places on the order book if the condition is met. So we need price action to reach our condition. That triggers the order to be placed on the order book. Then we need price action to retrace to this level here. This would fill our order then we're looking for the breakout to the upside. So obviously, if price action just melted through these levels, the order would be placed on the order book, but it wouldn't fill. Or if price action reached our condition, then gets down to our order, but re-enters the range, it would put us at a drawdown. So a couple considerations when using this trade idea. Next, we need to choose the quantity of our order. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and leave that on 10%. Typically, I like to make sure the post only box is checked. This is going to make sure that we save on fees if our order fills. And then we click on open long. In the pop-up window here, we would just confirm that our condition is correct. So our trigger price is our condition, 24,303. Then our order price at 23,429. If it looks good, click on confirm. Now we've entered in our conditional order, which we can view down here on the conditional tab. If we give that a click, all the details are visible here. Now that we have the top side of the range covered with our conditional long order, let's go ahead and cover the bottom side of the range with a conditional short order. So once again, we're going to have to find our condition. Maybe we want to use this wick right here. So I'll just go ahead and mark that with a horizontal like so. Now we can see the price point of that wick at 18,569. So let's put that in trigger price, 18,569. And now let's set our order price that we want Bybit to place our short order at. Let's go ahead and just use the former support here coming in at 19,254. We'll put that in. So 19,254. Then of course we want to select our quantity. I'll just stick with 10% again, and then we'll go ahead and open short. If everything looks good in the confirmation window here, you'd click on confirm. Now we've added a conditional short order to the bottom side of the range. If price action was to come down here, break through and tag this level here. Bybit's going to place an order onto the order book to go short at this level here. So we'll need price action to retrace, fill our order, and then we're looking for continuation to the downside. And once again, if price action just kind of floated down here and then melted through, the order wouldn't fill. Or if price action got down there, triggered the order, order fills and then re-enters the range, it would put us at a drawdown. So similar conditions to the downside. Either way, we've set up the same trade idea, whether if it breaks to the upside or if it breaks to the downside. We have a chance to fill our order on the back test of resistance 
or on the back test of support. If one of these orders was to fill, just make sure you come back and cancel the other orders. I'll also point out that you can see your trigger condition on the chart itself. So I'll just go ahead and remove these horizontals now like this. I'll remove this one here. Now we can see our trigger prices in these boxes here. If you want to amend your trigger price, you can actually just grab onto the box and you can move it. So let's just say we wanted to bring it down to these wicks like so. You can do something like that. Now you can see that we've amended the trigger down to 23,866. And it's the same at the bottom. Maybe we want to go down to this wick here like that. Now we've amended that trigger condition to 17,926. Now at any point, if you want to cancel these orders, you can do so by clicking this little X inside these boxes or come down to the conditional tab on the far right hand side under action. You can just use the cancel button there. So we'll go ahead and cancel those out. Now we've removed those conditional orders. Now I'll show you how to set up a conditional market order. Let's just go ahead and imagine the same scenario. Except we're thinking, you know what? If price action gets back up around this wick right here, maybe it's most probable that it just continues straight through these levels from here. Maybe it doesn't come back and back test this level. So perhaps we want to consider a conditional market order. So let's go ahead and mark that wick again with this horizontal, just like so. Now we can see the price point of that level. So we'll head over here to the order panel, toggle from limit to market. And we're going to go ahead and put this price in as our trigger price, which I've already done, 24295 now we're going to select the quantity and we'll go ahead and click on open long. Confirm the details and then click confirm. Now we've placed a conditional market order. So if price action just begins to melt through these levels here, our order will fill right here. And of course, we're looking for immediate continuation to the upside. The downside is if price action gets up there, fills the order and then retraces back down. That would put this position at an immediate loss. So you want to make sure that you're on the right side of probability before exercising a conditional market order. Now that we've covered the top side of the range, we can cover the bottom side of the range with a conditional market order to go short. So let's go ahead and just use this wick right here again as our condition. So we're going to come up and grab a horizontal, quickly mark that wick like so. On the Y axis of the chart, we can see the price point to that coming in at 18575 We're going to type that into trigger price. So 18,575, we'll choose the quantity of our order, open short, confirm the details of the order, and now we've placed a conditional market order to go short in the event Bitcoin begins to melt to the downside. We can see these orders on the chart, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that horizontal. And of course, we see our conditional long order right here. If we want to amend it, we can just drag it. And then we see our conditional short order down here. If we want to cancel these orders, we'll just click this little box right here. Click the X inside this little box. And now we've removed those conditional orders. And that's conditional orders in a nutshell. Of course, use your own level of creativity as well as your own technical analysis when deciding a conditional order is best for you. Personally, I use conditional orders mostly to exit positions. So if I have multiple targets, that's typically when I'll place conditional orders. In the future, I'll probably do a tutorial video on how I get that done. So definitely hit subscribe and hang around. And there you have it. That's how you set up a conditional order. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to check out my other Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for popping by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.